Good day and welcome to our installation of the McGee Middle School Monthly Report. We wanted you to see the teaching and learning that has been taking place in our new STEAM program this year. The Berlin Citizen visited our school in October and ran a very nice piece. I thought it would be something that is relevant if you did not see it. The points and takeaways would be as follows while you are viewing. STEAM has replaced our tech ed classes in grades six through eight this year. STEAM is an acronym for science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. We've moved uh, some veteran science teachers to teach the classes and have consulted with tech integration specialist and former BHS tech ed teacher, Laura Culpa, to help with planning and some of the units of instruction. In addition, Heidi Hayes Jacobs has been involved in planning curriculum and we're also looking forward to modernizing the spaces along with some help from Heidi. Finally, it's been our goal to personalize learning for our students. The course is definitely a work in progress and I hope you enjoy the report. Technically what I did for the body and the abdomen was I used a bunch of cylinders and uh, spheres to make them into like the circular shape. And then I'm gonna use the the hole, the cylinder hole, to uh, make a little pocket right here for the head. Now the second part of that guided practice is learning how to create shapes and objects in a three-dimensional space. And to do that, they're using Tinkercad, which is a program that's available for free on the internet that allows you to create things in a 3D environment. We move to the STEAM program because we wanted to sort of modernize the curriculum. For example, not uh, technology education as it was in the past is not something that is we didn't value. Um, some of the projects that were done there were maybe they built one catamaran uh, and everybody sort of built it the same way. It was this is how you kind of build a catamaran. Here it's a little bit more personalized. We're building a robot. This, um, this is our like mainframe. This is pretty much, what, it's kind of like the motherboard. These are our motors that move everything. They're building VEX robots. They're building a kit from, it's an EDR robot, it's called a Clawbot. So my game is you try to dodge around lasers, which you'll see once I get into the game, and you control this little plane. The entire computer screen is basically a Cartesian plane. And so to locate where their objects are going to go on the screen or how they're going to travel from one place to another, they need to understand positive and negative numbers, both on an x-axis and a y-axis, and they have to understand how an ordered pair of numbers relates to a specific spot on the screen. And then being able to add and subtract those values in order to get a character to be able to move around appropriately. 